Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca and and I'm Cheryl and welcome, welcome back, back to Little, Little Wonder. Wonder. I heard that we have another next Little Wonder and I wonder who he might be. Oh, I heard that his name is Anandajit and he's a rapper and a rapper. Yeah, wow, he's really good. So introducing now Anandajit. Anandajit. Hello everyone, my name is Nanda Jeet Sinal, and this is my new song, titled Bentleys and Beamers, a song revolving around different car cultures and manufacturers. The song describes a lot about the JDM and import tuna scene, and also talks about cars from other countries, including Rolls Royce, Dodge, Ferrari and Holden. Hope you'll enjoy! Maybach back to the lemurs, hop in the phantom, hop out the brake, call of the ghost, call me the goat, pay homage, over there I see you, I've been finessing, I've been a victor, you are taking the yell for a century, my cars are royal, slant air ground, air rides, no coils, we don't want no magnets, we're near 40 street, when sunset breaks, air two gears three, and a one guard starts to see one, and S14, S13, on a good side, inside, follow me, IP, Q's, you'll be down to the ground, when a map, by plane, 30 ends for the pounds, oh wait, Bulletproof Bentleys, the big on shifting thousands of pounds. R O got me, forget the sound. Yeah, the man, then, do be slow. We're coming inside and take a look at Sari Nights. Top bad, the gorgeous color unique. So damn expensive, common and niche. Be my redeeming the stars, I'm already be driving 150. You to the mic, see a 450, like 458, close special. Tribulations be a car face short and the longer the fader of fate. The hurricane performing better than you, seeing red when it's angry at you. But now them got the Hulk in the ball, lifting the head like a Hellcat do. The doctor of town to ram in a town, but the power so high it's a literal watch to run a Monaro, raising the ball, lifting the youths, run over the muse, all around the world, global sensation, sound to a ground or battle vacation. Imagine the flight of sharing a life with something so vile, it thrived and thrived, we gave it a crown, it took back the throne, and left us a tester when one is the soul. A fear and nemesis, mocking resistance, the with corona, it's a micro menace, the masks are gone, nowhere to hide and put up a fight or we lose a life, did we know did we can't do repair, missile launches, killing unfair, no discrimination or gene application, it's just RNA with malicious intent. Resistance, don't play with Corona, it's a micro menace, no discrimination or gene application, it's just RNA with malicious intent. Let's take it back to the day it all began when patient zero got themselves infected and we can't go back to the past and the number of cats keeps on going. A pop advertising and corporate and tea, there isn't much that we can do in terms of making metal it is anybody for a but a confidence isn't just a game and we aren't gonna quit halfway through. Cause we got a full shot and kill with everything we got. Cause we got a full shot and kill with everything we got. So today we'll be asking you a few s series of questions that we just want to know a bit more about you and your passion for rapping. Sure, fire on it. Uh, so my first question is, what inspired you to start rapping? Well, rapping for me was inspired by many mainstream artists. Namely, I had to have to say Eminem. Listening to his music, the way he incorporated lyrics, poetry, flow into one quick, jam-packed, all-out speed. It's just wowed me and ever since then I've tried to implement that into my own raps and that's what inspired me to begin rap. Have you ever tried making your own music, like using instruments to go along with your raps? I have. In fact, I run a YouTube channel on which I've posted one song uh, about coronavirus actually for which I produce the music and the rap. I occasionally make my own lyrics and on my channel I also post beats just by themselves. Feel free to check it out. 
Um, so, how, are you like with a group of friends to like, kind of like a band? Uh, do your friends also rap? Sadly, I, I wish I was in a group, but um, at the moment, I am a solo rapper. A solo. I do my music. When you get so, older, would you like to be like a professional rapper or would you like to go somewhere else and just keep rapping as a side hobby? I would prefer to keep rapping as a side hobby more so than taking it up and making How often do you rap at like home and school? Do you like do it daily and everything or do you do it once a week and practice a bit? I do it quite often. Maybe around every now and then I'll probably just rap one of Eminem's verses just to keep my flow intact. At school, when given the opportunity, I always try to show how they're, they're rapping and they can rap. At home, about every two weeks or so, I do. That's do great. Rap. Have you ever performed any of your raps or competed any competitions? I haven't, but what I have done is I have put the one of my raps on YouTube, so it is public and yep, feel free to check it out. At Demon Hyper. Subscribe. Where do you get your ideas? How do you brainstorm all these lyrics and everything? My ideas usually come from either current topics or some of my current interests. Uh, the coronavirus talk was inspired at the time when coronavirus was really taking its hold. Another one that was recently about cars was actually really just about the fact that I liked example like the coronavirus one have you done any other raps that relate to what is going on right now like with your feelings or the present uh, I don't involve raps much in my feelings I prefer to focus externally for ideas but most of the time yeah it's current topics that do not really relate to me that but still need to be shown a light on like there are some things that are going on in the world that people may not know about and I feel that what my rap, or what I at least try to do in my rap, is to make sure that people still know what's going around and that there are different hardships all around the world. And yet there are still positives. There is a silver lining in every rain cloud. Wow. Um, do you base your raps on anything or on a type of emotion? Well, like you said, not really based on emotions, but what do you base your music on? I always base my music off topics, more so like set topics. Uh, the one that I wrote about cars is just listing out features of the car culture and tuning scene. And the Corona one was just mainly talking about how we weren't prepared for it and that the world could at any time throw something like this at us. And in the future, we should be mindful of that constant threat. Yes. That human isn't at the top of the world. Can you like rem memorize all your lyrics or do you have to still like look at some sheet to memorize them? I really wish I could memorize them, but sadly I have to look at lyrics. <laughs> um, when was your first um, lyrics or no, well, when did you first create it? My first created rap is probably the coronavirus rap. But before that I did small, small raps, so I probably like Show, showcase in like a really small area, like at my home or at school. But the coronavirus one was the first one that I've probably taken online with it. Do you take any classes for rapping or do you just do it at home and like look on your computer and like YouTube? I do it at home on my computer. Besides just rapping, do you sing? I do sing occasionally and I do do music as well. I do the guitar and the piano as well. Okay, now. We have one more thing to ask you. We have a small riddle for you, and if you answer this correctly, you'll win a huge prize. Okay, so the question is, there are two sons and two dads in a car, but there are not four people. How does that make sense, and what would it be the answer if it was not four? It's a challenging one. Yes. There are two sons and two dads in the same car, but there are not four people. Yes. Make sure you think this very thoroughly. There is an answer that would make this make sense. What so there's a mean? grandfather, a father, and a son in the same car. There's three yes. people. Yes. 
Oh my and lord, exactly. you're really smart. Congratulations. You've just won a voucher from aladdincard.com.au. Congrats. Thank you for being here. Um, Thank you for answering our few questions and getting to know you. My pleasure, guys. It was really fun to be on here. Enjoy and Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Bye.